Hi there, my name is Michael Fudge, and welcome to Conceptual Data Modeling Explained. Are you confused by conceptual data modeling? All those funny terms like entities and attributes and cardinality and diagrams and not one to many, required and weak and identifying, blah, 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 blah. Well, I can help you. Conceptual data modeling is a visual representation of an organization's data semantics. I'm talking about things such as what you need to store, like customers or maybe products or orders, and the characteristics of the things you need to store, like customer name, address, and phone, product name, price, and quantity, order number, date, and total. And the data requirements of those characteristics, like the phone number is required, or the product name is a unique value, or the total order is a calculation. Then there's the business relationships between the entities. Things like customer places order, and order appears on product. And finally, there's the cardinality or degree of relationship, such as customer places zero or more orders, order is placed by one and only one customer, product appears on zero or more orders, and order contains one or more products. After we collect all these data semantics, what do we do with them? Well, as the old adage goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up drawing a diagram. And this diagram is called a crow's foot entity relationship diagram. So let's go back and take a look at our example again, crow's foot style. Remember those things you need to store? Well, those are called entities. We have entities in this example like the customer entity, or the order entity, or the product entity. Remember those characteristics? Well, those are the attributes of the entity. So each of these entities is going to have attributes like name, address, and phone for customer, name, date, and total for order, and product name, price, and quantity. Our attributes had data requirements. Those end up being descriptors on the attributes. Descriptors like the phone number is required, or the to order total is derived, or the product name is a unique value. Our business relationships end up being relationships in the diagram. These relationships are lines between the entities, like customer places order, product appears on order, and finally, the relationship cardinality defines the degree between, of the relationships, and that is represented through crow's feet, and these crow's feet appear on the line. For example, we might have customer places zero or more orders, and an order is placed by one and only one customer. And on the other side of things, we had product appears on zero or more orders, and an order contains one or more products. Now that's it. That was easy, wasn't it? There's not much really to it. But to summarize, entities represent the things you need to store. These are boxes in your diagram. Attributes represent the characteristics of each entity. The attributes go inside the entity's box. Descriptors define the attributes requirements. These attribute requirements might be required or unique or multi-valued or derived. Relationships are the business rules that connect the entities together. And finally, the cardinality defines the degree of the relationship, such as one-to-one, -one, one to many, or many to many. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I was able to teach you some things about conceptual data modeling. Thanks again, and I'm Michael Futch. Goodbye now.